Hello everyone, my name is Christian. Welcome to Inside the Bear's Den. This is episode two, and we could not be more excited to bring you Buffalo's own Miss Cammie Clooney and the world premiere of her brand new band. For those of you that aren't familiar with Cammie yet, you're about to get introduced to one of the most angelic voices in the world. Cammie hails from nearby Buffalo, New York. She has entertained our guests at many of our properties over the years. And on season 19 of NBC's The Voice, she finished in the top 10. She had a four chair turn. She was picked by John Legend to be the coach. She worked with Kelly Clarkson. She is an amazing young talent. We're extremely excited to have her here on the show. And I'd like to let you get a chance to get to know her a little better right now. Thank you all for being here and enjoy Inside the Bears Den. Thank you so much for having me. It's our pleasure. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> of course. I'm just going to jump right into it. Yeah. Just jump right into it. So top nine finish on season 19 of The Voice. Yes. Congratulations. Thank this you. It's the first time I've, you know, I've been obviously following you on social media and yeah. supporting you that way, but it's the first time I've been able to see you since the experience. And yeah. I just want to tell you how proud I was to, you. to see you up there and to be voting and just sharing things. And it was just so exciting. I, I know I yeah. speak for everyone in Western New York when I say that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, all the support means a lot. So yeah, no, yeah. I I can only imagine the, the the feeling. Can you tell me what was that? What was the reaction like? What was that feeling like when you found out you made the show? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I this whole process started last year, actually three years ago. So they found me on YouTube in 2017. Um, I auditioned for season 16, almost made it on that one. And then um, I came in wow. about four times. This was my fourth time auditioning. Okay. So um, when I went down there this past July, it was just like, it was just so surreal, you know, to be, to be put in front of those four celebrities finally, because, you know, I was waiting for this since I was 17 years old. Yeah. And uh, I went up there with no expectations. I was thinking, you know, Hopefully one person will turn around for me. Um, and then, you know, I closed my eyes, opened my eyes, and there were three chairs, and then Blake turned around at the end, and it was just, like, it was a dumbfounding moment. Like, I just wasn't expecting it at all. So it was crazy. Yeah, I mean, the first four, t four chair turn of the season. Yeah. That has to be, a, like, an amazing and overwhelming feeling. And then mm -hmm. you have, like, these icons of music yeah. and, and just geniuses. Yes. to work with. And what was it like to work with John and, and then Kelly? Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, the first thing is that they are really such awesome people in real life. I know a lot of people always ask, like, are they actually that nice, you yeah, know, yeah. in person? And they really are. I mean, like, John was so humble and Kelly was so humble, which is really cool because, you know, she was on American Idol years yeah. ago. And so she was in our same position. Um, but yeah, working with both of them was so cool. They both had awesome things to share with me. Um, they both really helped me figure out what my style was and um, helped guide me through some of my songs that I did. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was such a crazy, cool experience to work with those people. You were essentially representing, it was like all of Western New York on yeah. the show. What, what was it, what was that like to know and, and to see the support from everyone here back home? It was awesome, honestly. Um, my mom really did all the work into putting, you know, Your signs mom's up. Yeah, she made a Facebook group and everything. Um, but it was just so cool to have so much support from my hometown. Um, even when I came back, I mean, there's still signs up. Like, I was just, I wasn't expecting how many people would be supporting me. There were, there were just signs all over the place. And um, just having that support from my hometown meant a lot because, you know, a lot of other places, like people were from Nashville or. LA, you know, where they're not really going to get that much support because there's a million people from that town. But right, uh, Buffalo true. was like, you know, there's this one person from Buffalo on the show. So uh, it was just a really cool experience to be able to represent Western New York. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was so, I, and I can speak as a fan of yours. Yeah. It was just so exciting. Yeah. And, you know, I have, to, I have to let you know something. You probably didn't know this about your, your coach, John Legend. Mm -hmm. You both have, aside from being on the show, yeah. You performed for our guests at Seneca Allegheny Resort and Casino mm -hmm. in the past. You also share that with John Legend because John oh. performed for our guests in the event center at Seneca Allegheny really? in the past. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So next time you, you chat with him, you go, hey, yeah. you go play the same venue. That's so cool. Right? That's so cool. Wow. 
So in the past, we've seen, we've had you as a soloist or a duo, mm -hmm. but now you have a you have a brand new band. You have you yeah. know it's, I just heard them. You guys are sound checking. It's amazing. Yeah. Can you tell us about your bandmates and how you guys got together? Yeah, I mean, first of all, they're so awesome. This is the first time that we're gonna be performing together ever, so it's World cool. World premiere. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I got connected with them through um, Robbie Taytac from the Goo Goo Dolls. Um, I talked to him and he set me up with these awesome musicians. There's a. Uh, Isn't he a great guy? Yes. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, so um, yeah, so there's Vinderosa on the guitar, uh, Rod Bonner on the keys, and then GC Castillo on the cajon. So I'm super excited because they're they're all really talented. So. Awesome. I, I um, when I saw that I got this, your set list. First of all, your set list, her set <laughs> list. This set list is fire. Just <laughs> everyone out there, wherever you are in the world, right? You are about to be entertained. Hopefully, you 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 just put it put us on repeat. That's all you need to do is set. Your, your computer, your tablet, your phone, your iPad, whatever you're using, just set it to Seneca Casinos inside the Bears Den and just, just never leave us. Just move in. We're here for you. All right, Cammie. Now, before I, I leave you and let you and your bandmates do your thing, this is the most important question of the interview. This is really the, the main, re main reason why I wanted to do the interview with you. Mm -hmm. As a lifelong Buffalonian, when it comes to the, the, the glory that is the chicken wing, <laughs> Drums or flats? Drums, yeah. That's my girl, <laughs> team drums. For all of our viewers out there all around the world um, that want to find out more about you and more about your band and things you guys yeah. have coming up, where can they find you on the internet? Yeah, so you can find me basically anywhere on social media, um, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Cami Clooney, and then Facebook is at Cami Clooney Official. And yeah, make sure you keep up on there because there's a lot of cool stuff coming up, so. Cammie, thank you so much for being on Inside the Bears Den. Can't wait to have you back and yeah. can't wait to have you headline the Bears Den. Yeah. And we can have fans back in yeah, the, the venue. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Yeah, we'll do that one day. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Full of gum in the driveway. My friends are on fire in the back of my car. Lay their bodies. Where's my mind? Where's my mind? They'll be here pretty soon. Looking through my room. For the mind. I'm biting my nails. I'm too young to go to jail. It's kind of funny. Where's my mind? Where's my mind? Where's my mind? Thank you.
forget in the morning Play me a song that you like You can bet I know every line I'm the boy that your boy will do you to fight Don't waste your eyes on daily skies Fuck that noise I know better than to call you You need to pick me up I'll be there in 25 I like to push my luck Sure, take my hand and say good drive
so pleasant about that place Even your emotions had an echo in so much space And when you're out there without care I was out of touch But it wasn't because I didn't Did you have to go to jail 
put your house up for sale Did you get a good lawyer? I hope you didn't catch a ten I hope you'll find the right mail And I'll fix it for you And are you shopping anywhere? Change the color of your hair To pay that fine You were dodging over time I you still dizzy But since I've come on home Well my body's been a mess And I miss your ginger hair And the way you like to dress Won't you come on over Gonna run 
Thank you so much for spending time with us here inside the Bears Den. Thank you to Cami Clooney and her amazing band for letting us premiere them here for all of you around the world. How does a performance like that not leave you wanting more? Well, we have great news for you because that was just part one. This is a two-part series. Be on the lookout for episode four where Cami and her amazing bandmates bring you the rest of their scintillating performance here inside the Bears Den. But before we get to episode four, in episode three, we are joined by Tessa Del Zappo, Psychic Medium. And this is a show that you are not gonna wanna miss. Thank you so much for joining us here inside the Bears Den. We'll see you next time.